Hi folks. In this tutorial, I will going to show you how to use the XML source or in other words, how to pull data from XML file then load it to the destination. Uh, the, my destination will be a table in a SQL server called customer info. But before dive uh, into the load process, uh, we need to cover a few basic uh, basics about the XML files. First, uh, the XML file um, is an extensible uh, markup language file. Uh, XML itself is a markup language which shares some similarities to HTML. Uh, I'm going to show you here like what I'm talking about. See guys, this is what I'm talking about. See, it's, this is it's built as a hierarchy format and it's similar to the HTML. I have here uh, a records that contains uh, customer info, which is here says the borrower, and this is the social security number, uh, proper ID, first name, last name. All this info that you are seeing here, it's only one record. That's mean on one row. And the same thing is for the other one, and for the financial data details, and loan details, and property details. And so this is only one record I have for each uh, uh, topic here, for the borrower, co-borrower. If I want to do any modification here, I cannot. If you see, guys, I cannot select. But if I want to do any modification on my XML file, I have to open it in Notepad, just like this one. And I can do any modification I want and save us if you want on top of it, like on top of, of your uh, original file, but I prefer to, uh, you know, like save save it as a different name just in case. And you can uh, reopen it and you will see your uh, XML is being changed. Anyway, this is my records. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull data from the borrower and from the cool borrower uh, and load it to my destination. So I will have only two records. I'm going to use here. Let me go to the XML source. All right. And here where I'm going to looking for my XML uh, file. And here I have to generate the XSD. What's the mean of the XSD? XSD it's XML schema definition files. This can uh, this can uh, be used to validate for, uh, or for, like validate format uh, or describe uh, a particular XML file. So and uh, XSD are coded in XML. So without Generating the XSD, you cannot uh, link to your file. So go to generate. It will take you directly to the same file that you pulled the XML file from. But of course, you're not going to see it here because it's different X, uh, suffix. So just leave it as the same name that you had with XML. And let's save. See now here. Go to the columns and don't worry about this warning message here that my borrower uh, what I have inside I have the co borrower the borrowers it's for these two both both they are uh, under the borrowers so I'm gonna pass it this is what I have information for the financial details all these has one record at a time you know if I want to pull data for all fives, I have to combine them all. I'm going to show you how. But currently, I'm going to pull data from the borrower and from the co borrower. This is my columns. Press OK. In order to combine two, uh, uh, two different columns, we can say, uh, I have to use mere join or 
uh, union all but before that I have to sort my data which I have to go to to the sort transformation and select borrower press ok and sort it based on the first name same thing if I want to pull another column I'm going to go power and same thing first name why I took these two columns those but they have the same data so I'm going union those two informant those two uh, uh, data together and load it to my destination okay so I'm going to use union all or merge transformation you can do that and see you guys I have the same uh, data except the property ID is available in the borrower but doesn't in the co-borrower and my destination will be a table already being pilled in in this database in the server double click and go to select my table called customer info make sure the mapping is right if that is right so I suppose to see let me just go back to my see guys this is the XSD that I uh, generated I suppose to see only two records which is Melvin King and for the Milan Santos for the borrower and the co-borrower and here where I am going to just let me save it and let me execute it see guys I have a one record came from the borrower and one record came from the co-borrower and they both been combined using union all and went to my destination let me come here and select it right here see guys I have a first record for the co for the borrower Melvin King and this is for the Milan Santos I have the co-borrower and uh, if you have uh, you know more data of course you can you will see more here but this is how you can use the XML source and I show you guys how if you want to and before you load it directly you cannot you have to sort it and using a merge or union all before you uh, uh, send it to the destination just in case if you are combined to the other uh, you know data if you have only pulling only one sets of the data like borrower or loan you just simply sort it and send you know directed to the destination without need to the union or or other marriage transformations i hope you guys enjoyed watching my video and see you for next videos thank you